angle into the wall. So I'm gonna demonstrate on my left knee, bending to the side. You can stay with the knee, pressing down, pushing it away, or you can place the right foot against the wall. I'm a little bit far, so I come closer, pushing that left knee out. That's already doing a lot for the hips stretch where it's all the, you know, collapsing of the muscles. Sorry for the commercial behind my music. Another exercise for sciatica is laying down on the mat. You can be against the wall. You're going to cross your left knee, bending ankle over the right hip. You can stay and press that left knee to the side, or you can place the right foot on the wall. This is a little bit more intense if you press the leg against the floor, against the wall. Push, push, push that knee away. Flex your ankle, breathe. You can stay there. Or you send both hands behind the thigh. Right hand outside the right side. Left hand in between both legs. Grab the thigh and pull yourself up into the legs and pull the legs into the chest release release both legs and move a little bit away from the wall and move the knees side to side side to side i'm gonna move directions so you just see the opposite view and without the wall it will look like this so my right leg will come and cross it over and i will push the right knee away my ankle is flexed let me turn and see this so you see my ankle is flexed and flex and push 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 walk the heel a little bit closer into the glute on the left leg you can stay there let me adjust the view Lift the left foot, hands come, one right hand in between both eyes, left hand from the side, and pull the thigh in. Imagine that you're pressing the left foot on the wall, flex the ankle on the right and push the right knee away. Make sure that you're not holding on the shin. It doesn't feel the same. If that feels good to you, take three breaths there and then take three breaths here and then lift the chest. And maybe you take three breaths there if that feels good. Release down, release the hands, release the feet to the floor. Move the knees side to side, side to side. Hug the knees forehead to the knees and extend all the way out Two more for the sciatica. Hi, here's another exercise for sciatica pain. So before you warm up, before you, before you come to these exercises, make sure that you move a little bit on your spine, maybe cats and cows. And then we'll meet in child's pose. 
inhale there and exhale come into all fours and let's come into hands and knees maybe you need to put a towel under your knees maybe you double fold your mat you see so i pull it into the middle again i pull halfway from the top so it's like i have like three lines three layers of mat i put the knees there i extend my left leg to the side let me point it better to the camera i send my right hand up and then i stretch to the side Feel that breath open in the chest. If being on the knee, this is too much for you, you can be standing. So imagine that my right knee is not on floor, I'm just standing, and then my left leg is to the side. But if standing, I will turn my left foot to point out, and then I will stretch. And that is sort of like the triangle modified when I'm on my knee. So I come up, we switch, left knee down, right foot opens to the side, right hand to the leg, left hand up, and then I slide to the side. Feel all that stretch here. Open the chest and you're gonna feel it opening up in your lower back as well. Your sacrum is working. You relax your shoulders, breathe in and out through the nose. In and out through the nose, engage the core, pull the belly in. Inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Come into the center, knees together. Let me demonstrate. In the standing, you will do exactly the same. My right foot is pointing into one direction where my hips are. My left foot opens to the side, but I will turn my left foot to the side and I will send my right hand up, my left hand on the leg, maybe a longer stand, but my foot is pointing. Let me get back into the mat so you just get a better visual. My foot is pointing to the front and then I slide, open chest, exactly the same. And I'm just gonna do the same to balance my body. Again, in yoga, we have to balance both sides, whatever we do. Pull the left hip back, extend the left arm, and slide to the side. One more breath, same view, just to the other side. That's it, it helps in all this sacrum, it helps into your hips, it helps into the sciatic. If you like this video, please share and follow me, subscribe to my channel, do yoga, be happy. Thank you. Namaste.